So let me get this straight. You witnessed the murderer stab your brother, is that correct? That's fine. All right, can you rephrase what happened to the murderer, please? I was walking back home. I heard a scream. I turned around. I saw a guy crumbling to his knees, another one running away. I walked up to the body, turned him around. Recognize with my brother. I see. Can you give me a description of what the murderer looked like? He was tall, average build. He was wearing a Montreal Canadiens hat. A Montreal Canadiens hat? Hockey hat. Okay, I see. Did you contact anyone that was important to you about this? Like your neighbors, your family members? Call 911. And that's the only number you called? Yeah. Okay. What I suggest that you get home, what you do immediately as soon as you walk in through that door, I want you to contact anyone that's important to you. Because you never know. I don't want this guy doing any more damage, okay? okay. Right, do you have any like other siblings or anything? I have a sister, Eve. Okay. Is she younger or older? Younger. Younger, huh? Hmm. Alright. I guess that's all the most that we need, right, Ivan? That seems good. Alright, perfect. This is the document about all the information that we have for the murder about his kill, okay? You might as well take this and show this to your sister when we get there. Alright. Hey. We're gonna do everything we can to catch this guy, right? I promise. Thanks, Anton. I just can't believe he's dead. We're gonna have to organize two. Yeah. Are you holding up? Not really holding up. Yeah. How was the interrogation? I mean, it's a start. You got some information. You know, can't expect it to be great. What did the what did the detective say? He said he'll do everything he can to uh, to get this guy. I have faith in Carter. Did you hear that? James? 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 So what can you tell us? I came to my sister's house after the interrogation. I thought it would be best for us to be together in times like these. I... We're talking about the funeral, the funeral arrangements. Uh, and then we heard a shatter. I told her I'll go check it out. And I did. But... I found, I saw something, but then I felt a cold piece of metal on the back of my neck and everything went black. Did you get a good look at the killer's face? I didn't get any look at the killer's face. Is there anything else we should know? I think the lights went before I went in. Hey Carter! Ivan, James. This was orchestrated. They heard a shatter and the lights went out. That makes sense. James, me and the 
CSI crew, we investigate it outside and we can conclude that someone has been tampering with the fuse box, which can explain the blackout and the UV lights going on. I don't know how he switched the light bulbs to do that, but I'm going to tell you he's one clever, uh, that's pretty clever, I would say. Did you guys get to work on downstairs? We didn't go downstairs. You should probably go and check that out just to see if there's any more investigations. I mean, it makes sense that, it makes sense that it's orchestrated. Like, it killed two of my family members. What are the odds? It's ironic. All I can say is that I'm super sorry for your loss. Thanks. I'll tell you what. Here's the address to one of the tailors that I know in town. We can, we can hook you up with a new suit. We'll be on the house. Go on Saturdays, yeah, we should have been so we'll get you a nice suit. Uh, I appreciate it. Hey, my name is James. I'm looking for. Yeah. Sorry for the loss. Thank you. So, I'm looking for a suit for a funeral. Just wait right here. Got the perfect suit for you in the back. I found. Normal bill, right? Yeah. Put some light on it. Whoa. Look at that. Hold on. What does it say? Yep. Written in UV ink. Aha! See? I knew someone wouldn't get away with this. Awesome. Is this the only information you guys picked up? No. Sergeant Smith also wanted to talk to you. All right, I'll have a word with him. Detective. Sergeant Smith. I have some uh, news about the situation. Yeah, tell me about, it. about the bill. Um, the tailor man that you recommended for Mr. Haller has been found dead with a stab wound in his neck. The tailor? The tailor. Murder. Yes. <sighs> Do you know how he got murdered? We are not sure at the moment, but uh, we believe that there was foul play, obviously, in the stab wound. Right. And also, Mr. Haller has been found dead. Too, huh? Strangled. Run some autopsies on that. We're going to need it. We'll do the right best. Hey Carter, what's up? Yeah, sure. What time? That sounds good. Alright, I'll see you then. Alright, bye. to the tailor in the next 30 seconds. If not, Carter's dead. Where's Carter? So, I... Where is he? <laughs> Want to know so soon? Indeed, Carter is here. It is safe. Safer than you think. Uh, I don't understand. Why? 
I think you deserve a little bit of an explanation here. You see, I have an addiction. I'm bloodthirsty. Killing is the only satisfaction to my rage. And what better way to do it than being a law enforcement detective with a rookie sidekick? It's the perfect disguise. It's a shame that the tailor had to die. Falls my watch really well. <laughs> Ah, oh, I gave you so many clues, Ivan. Indeed, too. All you have to do is just pay attention. Oh! Ah! Oh! Why? Finish the job. No! No! I trusted you! <laughs> Why? <laughs>